Today we're going to start working on the profile pages and also a little bit with the friends. So we can begin by creating a profile page so that when you click this you should be able to see your own profile but you should also be able to go directly and see other people's profiles. So we can begin by going back to Visual Studio Code. Close everything here and close this one and then inside the views we can create a new view called profile view profile view dot view this is going to be very similar to the feed view so we can copy everything here post it and just save it as profile view and then if i now go back to 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 the router we need to add this to the router then i can import it here import profile view from dot, dot slash views slash profile view dot, dot view okay so now it's imported here then i just need to add it to the list here you can copy one of these replace with profile slash colon id because here we are expecting a custom ID so that you can visit other people's profile as well. Profile and we are going to use the profile view. Okay, so then I can activate the button up in the menu. This is located in the app.view I think. Yes, here you have the user store is authenticated. This should be now a router link. Close the router link and not the HRF, but a two. So, so router link colon two. And here I want to use the name um, profile and then ID should be user store dot user dot ID. I think this is the correct way if I refresh then this is not working profile was accessed during render but is not defined on an instance profile no sorry this is a string like that refresh missing required parameter ID Okay, so it's not the correct way to do this. Um, view three router um, params. So how to do that? Okay, I done it correctly there at least. So then I just need to set the router link. Okay, there are no examples. That's weird mm, how to get okay, let's try this one router link no why are there no examples okay now maybe so okay the params are set up like that so we have the name profile and then params colon id close this one and close this one and the name should be like that okay now maybe it's working go back refresh no warnings or errors and you can see down in the left corner that it's going to profile slash my unique id and if i click it i'm sent to this url i should now be on my profile page and what I then want to do is to show my profile here. This is still just hard coded, but here I do just want to show my own posts and not from everyone else, which is the one you are showing when you are there. So we can begin with this one. And this data should be available already. So this should be in the user store. Is that activated here? No. App.view. Let me just copy the initialization. 
so import this like that then we can copy this entire thing paste it above the component or wherever you want actually and then I should be able to scroll up again and find the name in here and say user store dot user dot name save then we can say Stein Hellset. nice and then before I forget it I want to do a little change on the feed page so if I just go to feed I don't think I need my own avatar and similar here so if I go back to the feed view I can just remove it from here so remove this one the main left and then this can be called spam tree so now it looks a little bit better because you don't need to know about your own profile when you're on the feed page and if I click here now you can see it like this perfect and this is also how other people's user uh, profile pages will look like okay so now that that is done this is done then I need to make sure that the feed we are getting is the user's own feed so if I open up api.py in the post app then we have this but this should be the post feed actually and then we can say at api view create one separate just for this get def post list for the profile pass in request and the id and then this id will be either your user id or the user you are visiting so then we can say posts equals post dot objects dot filter created by equals id then we need to specify that we are just referring to the id field on the created by now we can copy this paste it and save so now we have a separate view just for a profile so now we just need to open up the urls in the post app and add it here Path can say from profiles and then the url will be api slash posts slash profile and then string id or is this a uuid wait one second api dot post list profile name post list profile this should maybe be a uuid let me see if we get any warnings no okay so that means that this is probably the correct way to do it and then that will give this id everything is working yes so now i just want to update this profile view to use that url instead so down here where we get the feed that's this one yes then this is profile slash the id so I want to pass it in like this. Um, this dot router dot this dot route dot params dot id. Then you can see here this will now just be a string, but if I convert this to be backticks and like that, that makes it possible to pass in variables for JavaScript inside strings. So let me save now. See if this is working. And then go to the back end then you can see that we are getting this url nice and if i go to the feed it uses this url to get the posts nice so everything there is now working um, and as you can see here here we just get all of the posts but uh, change later to feed because here you just want to get your post and your followers or your friends posts anyways i can go to the to-do list now i can view a profile maybe i should create one more user just so i can test this um, let me just go to my profile copy this and paste it in here then I can log out 
Log out. Maybe I haven't fixed that. No. Later. Okay. Create a new user. Stein or code with Stein. And then a password. Sign up. Okay, the user is registered. Please log in. So let me go to login. Login with the user I just created. Okay, so now I'm logged in with the new user and you can see that I get all of the posts, which I actually shouldn't, but we will fix that later. And if I go to my profile, the feed is empty. The name is called with Stein. And if I now try to go to the other user, then I'm now visiting Stein Hellset, but this is not correct. Okay, yes, because I can't just get this from the local storage, I need to get it from the server based on this. Okay. But anyways, this was not working. Plus, when you're visiting someone else's profile, this form should not be visible. Let's begin with the name there. I can add it here. Fix correct name on the profile. Uh, hide form, hide post form when you're visiting some one else's profile. Someone else profile, else's, yes. Okay. So fix this first. So what we need to do then is that when we are on the profile here, we can actually get the user profile as well. So to do that, we can say user equals um, user.objects.get pk equals id. We need to import this. Let's do it below here from account dot models import user and we need to import the user serializer so from account dot serializers import user serializer then we can say posts serializer and we can say user serializer equals user serializer pass in the user object now we get a warning here, this should be posts serializer, but what do we do with this one? So we need to change this a little bit. So we can say posts, we should use the posts serializer dot data. Uh, whoops, like that. And then on the next line we can say user, like that, user serializer dot data. And then we can close this data, close. Actually, that was not pretty. Let's do it like that, the comma, like that. So now it's a return JSON, pass in the two data objects, set the safe to false there. So we get no errors there. And if I refresh now, I will not get the correct thing here because I updated this a little bit. So here where we get this, we can say data dot posts, save. Now we have the posts back. And then I can also say profile, which can be an object or user. Um, this dot user equals response dot data dot user which points to this one. So then if I scroll up again, instead of saying user store.user.name, we can say user.name. And now I is it in Stein Hellset. If I go to my own, it says code with Stein, but I needed to refresh. Um, okay, that's a little bit problem because we are switching URLs up here, but nothing happens down here. And that is because things are not getting refreshed as it should. Um, view component not updating on data change. 
cache router or something similar. Um, okay. I know that if I just scroll down here, if I just uh, call this again, then it should work actually. Um, then I just need to see one of the other life cycle hooks view life cycle hooks. So when this is updated, if that is one created before mount mounted updated, let me see updated. So let log updated. Let me see if that is working. So if I Go to this user. That's not me. Okay, so now I'm on Stein Hellset, which is the other user. Refresh data updated. If I now click there, it's updating again. So that means that in here I can call this. And hopefully everything should work now. Um, I think it needs to be in both there and there. Refresh. Okay, so let me go back now. Now I'm on Stein Hellset. If I click my own, updated, and it was updated here as well. Nice. So now everything there seems to be okay. So that means that now I can set that to done. And then I just want to hide this form if we are on someone else's profile. Like here, when I'm visiting this profile, I do not want to see that form. So let me scroll up and I can hide all of this if that is the correct case. So here I can say v if a user store dot user dot id not equals now if it equals to the this user here user dot id so now the form is gone and if i go there we are seeing this form cool post so could it stein add this if i refresh everything is okay and if i go back to the other user the form is gone and this is looking good, nice. Which means that I can go here, set this to done and set this to done. So now we have made it possible to view other people's profile. It's a little bit hard to do it right now. It will be easier later when we can have a friend similar and when the search is created, the search is there and for the next parts now, we will work on friends and make it possible to accept friends and similar. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to all of my patrons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link in the description below. And actually, when I think about it, before we make it possible to do the friendships, maybe we should actually create the simple search, just so it's easier to find user profiles and similar. So let's do that next now. So if I go back here now, we already have the search view. So if I just go directly to search, you can see it here. So that when I'm searching for Stein, nothing happens, but then I want to show the users matching it here. So let's begin with the back end for this. If I open up the API inside, it not fits in the post and not the account. I think actually this should be in the separate app or yes, we need to create a separate app for this because it doesn't fit good in either of these. So let's create one more app, Python method by start app search. I can run the server again. Just need to add this to the list of installed apps. Search like that. Okay, so let's create a new f uh, new, new, new file here, api.py. We are also going to need a form for this. 
No, we don't need a form. So let's just have it. We need a URL set pi. URL set pi. Yes. Okay, let's create a very simple backend for the view, for the search. So we can begin by importing a few things from the other here. You can import this and paste it like this. Then we can add API view. Here we just want to accept post data, def search request, and then we can say data equals request dot data query should be data query. I guess a print query query just have to see that everything is okay, and then return JSON response. Just add some random things here so we can see that we get something in the front end. Then we need a separate urls.py file so from django.urls uh, import path from dot import api and then the url patterns create a list and when this is empty we want to use api.search name is search like that. So then we just need to import this to the main URLs file in the way backend folder. Path API slash search include search.urls. Great. So I can close that. I can close that and we can go back to search.view. So then here we need to import axios because we're going to use that Import axios and we can set up a connection between this field and this button to the bottom here so data return query default this to empty and methods for handling the submit form like that so log submit form so that makes it easier to test that everything is working and similar so if i scroll up now i can convert this to a form form v dash on submit dot uh, here submit form submit dot prevent very important and close the form like that the clause can just be like it is and then this needs a v model to query and this should actually be a button instead of anchor tag button and save so if i refresh now what i'm looking for stein submit form yes and we can also add the this dot query here just to see that it's working Yes, perfect. So then we can send this to the back end. Axios.post API search. Then we need to pass in the query here. Query this dot query. So then this will be available there. And then we get some response back. Create a fat error function console.log response response.data okay and if there are any errors we just say dot catch error console console dot log error and we want to see what the error actually is like that so now we can test this stein then submit stein form response this is what we got back and the backend can say that we got the query stein which is what we are searching for so let's begin by searching for users so users equals user.object.filter where the name i contains equals query get the warning here because user is not defined so we need to import this from account dot models import user 
Okay, so now that is done. The warning is gone. Then we need to import the serializer from the users from account.serializers import user serializer. Users serializer equals use, um, user serializer pass in users and set many many equals true because there should be more than one user or at least we want this as a list. Then we can say user serializer dot data say uh, safe equals false and save so let's try one more time stein then i got two objects back stein headset user and code with stein if i search for something like this i get an empty response because there are no users matching this great and then we can start looping through these objects and showing them here. So if I scroll up, I have a lot of users here. So I do not need that. Okay, it's this these ones, yes. So remove two, three, four of these. And then add set this to the next line. And we can loop through the user here. V for user in users. And then uh, V dash bind colon key user dot ID. And then I said this dot users, but that's not defined yet. So you can say users default an empty list. And then this dot users equals response dot data dot Yes, just like that. Refresh. There is not anything there because I need to search for Stein. Then I get two users. We can fix that they are showing the correct name. That's there. User dot name. Okay, so now it shows code with Stein and Stein Halset. Cool. And then I just want to fix the search for the posts as well. So posts equals post.objects.filter body by contains equals query. And then the question here, should you just get posts that from your friends or should you get posts from everyone? Right now I just want to get posts for everyone and then we can handle permissions and similar later. Then we say posts serializer equals post serializer posts many equals true. Get two warnings here. So we need to import this from post.models import post and from post.serializer import post serializer. Then we need to add the dictionary here users and posts posts dot data like that just like we did on the other place you just need to say post serializer dot data then i need to update the front end a little bit because here i need to say response to data dot users and this dot posts equals response dot data dot posts and posts should be an empty list like that okay refresh you're still seeing this one that's okay because that's still hard coded but if we want to make things a little bit easier now i can just remove this post like that and copy the one from the feed view because here we already have the loop through a list of posts like that save refresh stein okay if i search empty then i get everything so now i get the correct uh, post here as well so now the search is working let me try to just search for cool then i just get this the problem now is that if this is empty i don't want to render this at all so to fix that i can scroll up and find this one 
send this to a new line when I have multiple attributes like here I like to have it on the separate line which makes it easier to read v dash f users dot length maybe I need to say that yes Stein and then it's showing perfect so now we have a very simple search we should make it possible to click this to be sent to the correct profile page so here around the name we can say just to clean this up a little bit router link to colon to and then close it at the end here and I can copy this from the avatar in app.view since we are using the parameters and similar let me just copy this entire thing and paste it like that but here we should not say user store of course of course just user.id because that's the one we are looping through here so if you see down in the right corner that the id is updating when i'm hovering on these two nice so now we have a very simple search post this should be updated with the icon i can copy the one from the menu which is number four this one so search view should not say post it should be an icon for posting of course that's much better and i think also that this should be a router link that you can click on so if i just copy this where the name is scroll down then here let me fix the indentation here as well below here I paste it and now you can see here that we are using post created dot name so post dot created by dot name and post dot created by dot id I think that should work let me save refresh search for cool and yes I can click this to be sent to that user profile nice okay so now we have done a lot of things here i know that we are reusing this code on the feed page the search and the profile page and similar so that's something we need to fix can set that up as a separate task here convert feed to a separate component set this to done and now we can do this now okay so if you go back to visual studio code and scroll up to the components folder we can say feed item dot view then here we just create an empty template tag scroll or find the search view and then i want everything inside here as a component so it's this one so this should be like it is in case these clauses need to be changed from the search page to the feed page to the profile page and similar it's just easier to have this here so just post everything here paste everything sorry i read <laughs> i read the word there and then we can say feed item and then we want to say v dash bind uh, we want to bind the post to the post so this is now a property that will be passed in there and the value is post which comes from this one then we need to import this component so from sorry import feed item from dot slash components slash feed item dot view then just register it here feed item okay so then that is done it should not be working now at least one template okay i forgot to save it refresh and now that is done but now i'm on the feed view uh, let me go to the feed feed this wasn't 
supposed to be working now. No, sorry, it was the search. <laughs> sorry. So let me go to search and search for cool. And now I get the error here. And that's because that the data you are trying to show here is not correct. So we need to set up the script tag at the bottom here. Then export default props, props, it says the properties, post, this is an object. So now this post refers to this one here that we are binding the data to. So if I now refresh, search for cool, then it's now showing here and it's much easier to read this code because now everything is stored in there. So that means that this can now be added to the feed view as well. So everything inside this for loop can be replaced by this simple thing. Then we can import this feed view, feed view, and then just add it at the bottom there. Could not be resolved. Uh, feed item, sorry, like that. So now if I go to feed, this is working there as well. And then I just want to do the same on the profile view page. So here we are removing everything. So we can just say feed view, feed as bind, colon post, post, close it. Then we need to import it, feed item, and add it at the bottom there. So now the profile should also be whoa, working. Oops, that's a weird loop. Okay, you can see here there's some weird shit going on. Let me just go out of that one. Profile, we are importing this. Hmm, what did I do there? Let me go to the feed again. Okay, everything here is okay. So on the profile page there is something weird. Feed view. I don't think I wrote it incorrectly, no? Yes, okay, I see here that I used feed view. So let's try to use the whole feed page. But there's still something weird here. Okay, let me just try to take this away. Refresh. The problem wasn't there. Where is the mistake here? Still there. I think it's between these two. Yes, okay, so needed to figure out a way to fix this problem here that when you go between two user profile this doesn't update. Hmm. I just think the problem is that when this is finished running then it will be updated again because this data is updated and then it will be an infinite loop. Okay, so then I just want to see... I can set this to done now because then I can go back to fixing this. Fix the problem with the update on the profile. So the problem is switching between two profiles. Let me try to see what view switch between two views update switch between same view update content. Let me see if there are any good examples. Okay, so if I am watching the router view URL changing, then I can call this. Okay, let me try to just copy this. Paste it. So 
So instead of saying this, we can say this dot get feed. It's correct. Let me just try to save this now. And see if it is working. Go back here now, and if I then so if I go to this one, just to refresh. So now I'm on someone else's profile, and if I click here now, it's not updated. Okay, nothing happens here. But maybe this is not the correct way to do it. Or we can try to use this. I hate when things happens like this, and I'm not sure why. This dot get feed. Let me try to say console log blah, 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 blah. Refresh. Okay, go back to my own profile. Click that profile. Then you can see this happens and the, this was updated. So that means that it looks like I'm just that I can just use this one. Okay, so remove the watch, remove the updated. So what happens here now is that before this URL changes, it's going to go into this here. And it will check that if the name is the same as the name we are on, which is the profile name that comes from the router file. Then we call the get feed based on the next URL. Nice. So that means that it's now working. I'm on other profile now. Click here. Sorry, I was not on someone else's profile. Now I'm on someone else's profile. My own. Not working. No, it did not work. Sorry about this back and forth. Okay, so I'm on someone else's now. Click here. This is updated, but the content here is not updated. Hmm, but why isn't this working? Okay, first of all, it's not supposed to be called the user ID. Let me try this one more time. Sorry again for the back and forth. It's just ID. Console log. Hello, change and save. Then can try one more time. If I'm on someone else's profile now, I click my own. You can see that this was run, but not this one. That means that this wasn't working. Um, view 3 watch router route params. Okay, I'm not using the I'm using the options. Maybe it shows if I search that instead. Watch route params. Okay, let me just copy this. Test it. Console log. That did not look good. Watch route on Vue.js. Okay, maybe I just forgot to add the deep. ID handler can be empty like that. Okay, one more time. Refresh. There is something wrong. Add the comma there. Refresh. Okay, so now I'm back to my the other person's profile. If I click this one, this is added, but not this one. So the watch here is not being updated. Okay, so let me try one more time now. Just copy this to get feed. Refresh, and now I'm Stein Helset. Click this one, and then I was sent here. There are no eternal loop here, and everything looks to be okay. So remove this one. Fix the indentation for this one. So it seems that the problem was that I forgot to add the deep true here. Okay, so now it's watching the URL and 
when there is triggered a change it will call this.getfeed and continue down there so now everything there seems to be okay let me try to visit this here profile again just to test and when i click here it's refreshed the content here nice so everything here is now okay so i can set this to done so that means that everything for today's part is finished if you have any questions about today's code feel free to leave a comment below and i will answer as soon as i can see you in the next video